Hi guys, I'm Ricardo Esplugas and I want to show you some molecular vibrations. It's important to understand the molecules are never at rest. They are always vibrating, rotating and moving around. Vibrating molecules emit infrared radiation. The frequency of this radiation depending on the molecule. So different molecules emit different frequencies of infrared radiation. That means that we can characterize molecules by studying the radiation they emit. This technique is called spectroscopy. Infrared radiation causes heating and the greenhouse effect is caused by infrared radiation being absorbed and re-emitted by gas molecules in the atmosphere. Only a few molecules emit the frequencies which are responsible for the heating of the planet. Some of those will be shown next. This is a water molecule. It's vibrating and emitting infrared radiation. It can also vibrate in a different way, as you can see. This are called vibration modes, different vibration modes. And each vibration mode emits a different frequency. All molecules that have more than two atoms present a number of vibrational modes. This is carbon dioxide. Again, each of these modes emits a different infrared frequency. We normally observe many of these modes operating at the same time as a superposition of vibrational modes. This is methane, another molecule which emits infrared radiation in a range that causes global warming. Some of its vibrational modes are shown here. Next, you will see the notorious CFC, chlorofluorocarbons. They are like methane, but instead of hydrogens, they have chlorines and fluorines. The chlorines are represented in green and the fluorines in violet. Because chlorine and fluorine are quite heavy, much heavier than carbon, you see that it's actually carbon moving faster. And this is now a ring molecule, pyridine. Pyridine is similar to benzene. The difference is, is that one of the carbons is replaced by a nitrogen which is showing blue. Pyridine is not particularly important with respect to global warming, but it's shown here as an example of vibrations in a ring molecule. On the next videos, I will explain in more detail how global warming operates. And thanks for watching and keep studying. Goodbye. See you soon. Vamos assassinos Somos sete bagunças